Hi, welcome to Messy Missy Creates. This is Melissa. Um, I'm going to do kind of a quick, well, I say quick. I intend on it being quick. We'll see how quick it is. Um, I've got a couple new magazines, Better Home and Garden, Cosmopolitan, Real Simple. Anyway, um, I'm just going to flip real quick, or I'm going to try to do it quickly. I am... Let me make sure I have all of my addresses and things. Um, I, I do this for a couple reasons. One, because I am getting ready to start my glue book. Two, um, I ransacked my house the other day looking for one image that I know that I have in a magazine or ad somewhere in this house. And so I ended up making such a mess and I got myself frustrated over nothing. So I'm going to... Um, but then when I, I, you know, kind of regrouped myself and I let myself just flip through a couple of magazines, I got some inspiration for my journal, not just the glue book, but actually for the journal. And so I thought I would start here. I have, you know, uh, several pages that I'm working on in my journal and sometimes just going through and flipping it, it looking at the images, sometimes it just, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Sometimes it just inspires you in another direction or you go, oh yeah, I need that, you know. So obviously there's going to be little images like this that I will come back and grab. Or I can go ahead and tear them out. Now let's see, this is, um, this is the Cosmopolitan. So I think this was February this month. I don't know if I want to rip out all of the smaller images um obviously this one's going to be i imagine this one to be more for the glue book um i'm looking more obviously i need background pages like for example this one or that one darn it um let me see there we go sometimes it's just hard to get that first page out and i have my bins i have one for the glue book again one for my journal. Sometimes they, uh, I think they're for one, they end up being for another. So I'm not looking to, I mean, obviously I would come back and cut those glasses out for purple and things like that. I could go ahead and pull them. But my main focus today was backgrounds. I'm trying not to get myself distracted with all the little, um, the layers that are on the top of the cake. I'm needing more, well, that feels like two pages, but maybe not. Um, this would be a good black, uh-oh, um, yeah, black or like a black and gold, you know, using that little section for a background. That's what I'm looking for mainly today or something, um, I kind of have some things in mind um, for journal. And see, like, this would go really well on a black and white journal, but it would go on the top layer. It would be, like, the icing on the cake. I'm looking for the cake layers. So, and I'm trying not to distract myself with the icing. This is icing. That I also, oh, my goodness, this is going to be hard to do. No, I'm, I'm going to stick to my plan. And, oh, I'm not going to be able to. How, am, how do I not? I'm not getting rid of the book, but... Anyway, I'm sure this one is still available. So if you need green in your glue books, here we go. And this one I'm gonna go ahead and take because yes, I would use her as icing, but I had the black background. Well, I'm not gonna be able to use all of it. I like that. I don't know. I'll take it. Um, the other thing I wanna do, if I have time in this video, is I'd like to go ahead and select my washi. That's why I'm trying to just not get too distracted with the icing. Think cake, not icing. Okay. That's very hard to do because the icing is just so good. Now, something like this and this, if it doesn't have anything on the back, I might would, I'm going to tear this one out. Okay. Now, this little section right here, I would use as background in the journal. So, okay, there's nothing on the back that I need. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tearing ruler and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this in the journal bin and where'd my little piece go? This little piece in that one. And I, you don't have to see my bins. They're back behind me, so. Um, that would be a good green background. You know, little piece. I feel like they're sticking together. Nope. Mm, that's pretty. Oh my goodness, look at this background. I am, I think, going to do mine a little different. Um, I'll get into that a little bit later. I'm not sure I'm doing the full on uh, in rainbow order. I'm going to have all the colors, but, well, that's kind of neat, but I don't quite get, that's a weird picture. Um, I love that marbled, and that might be a good little piece of it. It's a, more of a peachy color. I don't really plan on having that. I do think I'm adding peach. Um, wow, this is a little risque. Alrighty then. Um, this is an adult channel, by the way. I'm not responsible for... Don't hold me responsible for anything you see in here. I love this little heart Etch-a-Sketch. But I probably wouldn't use it because... Alright, I'm going to just skip over this little section right in here. That was about things that I don't need on my channel. Um, that is going to be a neat piece of icing right there. Um... Okay, you know what? I might have to do this one off camera. I wasn't even thinking about... Okay, I'm taking this one. But I think I'm going to take it for my journal. Because I love the flowers and the butterfly. Oh, and the little eye. But... Okay, that one I'm taking for the journal. Your horoscope. Yeah, I'm, I might just have to do a quick over on this. And, you know. You know, you know. I think I saw this. I think I saw that picture in Nicole's. Ooh, that's got some cool colors. Wow. Um, I know I hear everybody talk about there's a purple shortage. Maybe I better go ahead and pull that. That's kind of neat. Okay, and I'll pull this one. Hopefully there's nothing. Well, yeah. Anyway. I don't... It. I can get some of it. And still use her. Alrighty. I think I'm going to... Because that really isn't my main objective today. I really was looking for stuff for my journals, too. So, I'm going to put that one aside. And, uh, I'd like to at least keep this channel PG. Now, this magazine, the February magazine, you know, the month that we're almost done with, I knew I had this. It came in January. It's a current subscription. It's January, February, so it probably came the end of December, beginning of January. I looked, and I looked, and I looked, and I looked, because I knew I set it aside so that I could use all this stuff. You know, I knew I would want to look at this and use this in my journal. Look at that for a background. Wow. Now, which bin does that go in? Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to put it in glue book for now, but that might get... Well, I have this little piece right here. I can put that one. No, it's got all the writing on it, darn it. Oh, well, I'll put it in there anyway. Putting that one in the journal. I would use this in the journal, maybe. Or I might, would use her on a... Hmm. I definitely would use it. 
one or the other. I'm putting it in the journal for now, the journal bin. Okay, this is what I racked my brain trying to find pictures of a bed. I knew that I had, because I was trying to journal my sick days, and I don't have anything else to put on them. I wanted some big beds and make them look cute on the page, and that'd be that. And, except I'd prefer one that had sheets, but, you know, I mean, I'm just being picky now. Do I use Martha? I love those. I love this border right here. Um, the other thing is, is I am looking for some backgrounds like this to use in my journal as well. So, I'm going to start that one in my journal. This one looks like a good blue book background color. So, I already have one bin of some glue book stuff. Now, if you're seeing pictures that you're going, why aren't you getting those? I, I, I'm going to come back and do them. I'm just looking for some specific things. And just kind of, I haven't really thumbed through all of these, these magazines. Um, this one I've had, I just found it. And yes, it was in a safe space. It was right there where I put all of my stuff for February. Um, this one is March. So this one I just got in the mail. Hmm. So I haven't even looked at that yet. Okay, see, this is what I need. Now my husband is sick. So, um, I, see, I would use the day quill for my journal and the orange background for, for, uh, glue book. My funny Valentine, instead of expensive jewelry, diamonds might be Marilyn Monroe's best friend, but this girl would swoon over a portfolio of well-tended stocks. Okay. Netflix and chilled wine, baby. Well, those are neat at first glance, but I don't necessarily, I think they could have done better at, anyway, I think they could have done better at the, at the, the wording. So, see, this is what I had planned on, you know, some of this. I thought, okay, I'll use this as background. Well, I guess now I can use it in my glue book. However, this is what I did. Let me find my journal under my mess. Um, to practice the glue book, I had, a I had several extra pages in the end of my journal, actually. And so I was actually, I say practicing, I was trying out different ways of putting the papers together. And, uh, I mean, I know how Nicole does it. And, um, you know, I know I'm, I'm, it's something similar. I just was trying a couple different ways. But also I thought in the back of this, all the Valentine's images, now that I found that magazine, I thought I could do a Valentine's collage on here. And here, I gave myself, what, two and a half pages if I want to use it. And it'll be in my February journal. I never did put February on here. I need to find something that says love in the air or something like that. But anyway, um, so that definitely would fit. Um, that definitely would fit in that, in those back pages. So would that. So... I'm going to put them in, I'm going to put that one in my journal one for now, but I'm still looking for beds. I did find some things I could use, but like that DayQuil, running across that, it was the same way with the NyQuil. I ran across a Ny NyQuil ad and I already tore it out. So, um, and I was like, okay, well I can use that instead. So that made me feel a little bit better about not being able to find my bed, bath and beyond, um, Add with all the beds in it. This is a neat wood grain background. That is a neat piece of textured background. It's not really textured 3D wise, but this would be kind of cool in a journal. Um, you know, just for the edging or whatever. So I'm going to put that. I don't know. Some of them overlap and that makes me crazy, but. It's okay. It's okay. 
Let's see, which way was I going? I'm really bad about, um, really bad about flipping back to front. Um, I'm trying to make myself go front and to backwards. Um, I think when I have my glue book ready to go and I have it, oh, this is a definite pretty background. And these are big pages in this Better Home and Garden. So it's, um, you get lots of, even if you have to cut around the words or whatever, you still get good sections. So I have a pretty good mixture of colors. This one too. Now, if I don't have a whole lot to journal about one particular day, I might, I mean, I ate a sandwich for lunch today. I could, you know, use this. So I'm going to put this one in my journal one, even though I don't think I have a lot with red background. Um, I probably should have just put them all in the same basket. But, it's neat. I mean, you could use that to show your dinner, even if that's not what you ate. I guess you could. Uh, there's a lot of pretty, that's almost a purple. Okay, this I want. This bowl of soup I want. And I think I have one. I wanted to make sure I had a second one. Um, but to me, all those kind of represent sick days. But also, I... <laughs> of course, that represents one of the sick days. Uh, okay, that's funny. I might have to use that. <laughs> There's nothing on the back so that I would use. Other than maybe little tidbits of, you know, the background like that. But... Okay, so, and I'm, I'm putting it, if it's, if I'm not sure which one I want it in, I'm putting it in my journal bin first, because I'm probably going to be doing that first, and then when I get my glue book all together, I need to, I'm going to cut myself off the magazines here in a few minutes, and I'm going to start sorting through wash, or I guess I could do that in another video. Um... Those are cute. And yeah, I wish, too bad I didn't have all this the whole month of February to use. Discover South Carolina, Darius Rucker. Really like him. And I'll come back out. Anyway, what I keep trying to say, and I keep interrupting myself, um, well, the pictures aren't helping. Um, what I keep trying to say is when I get my book together, or, you know, the glue book finished, and then I get some of the background started, I'm going to come back. I'm going to set aside some of these magazines that I've already flipped through the first time. And then I'm going to come back and get some of these. Ooh, that's neat background. Um, anyway, that maybe will possibly keep me from being so distracted um, because it's real easy to get hung up on and get excited about the icing layer of your glue book but and, and get distracted with all those images but if you don't have your your foundation down then you know you're not going to make a lot of headway with the Um, I might would use that chair in the, in a journal, but it's not something I need right this second. And like I said, I'm not throwing these magazines away. This is not like one of the other ones I did where I'm getting everything I think I might need and then getting rid of the rest of the, the magazine. This is my first time going through this magazine. So I'm just getting the things that I know that I need next. Oh, that would be such a pretty green background. So would that, but, oh no. Oh, da 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 dear. Well, I'm still gonna take it and see what I need first, the background or, I mean, that right there is really cool. That would be a lot of fussy cutting though. Oak leaf hydrangea. I love hydrangeas. Oh my goodness, I love hydrangeas. But right now, I'm putting it in the glue book, green side up. 
Uh, let's see. Oh, all these are so pretty. Oh, I love these old bottles. Isn't that cool? That's a pretty purple leaf. So I'll have to come back and get all of those. And like I said, we're just baking the cake. There's a bed. Hopefully nothing. Oh, and a bunny. I hope you're in frame. You should be. Okay. Uh, okay, good. Okay, good. So this is going in my journal one. A cute little bunny. Cute little elephant. But yeah, I'll use that bed. Hmm. Hmm. And all of this would work if you have like a neutral page. A lot of this would really work well. There, there's some for purple. You got some purple onions. Or, well, I guess they're technically red onions. Um, the one thing about this magazine I have to keep in mind is if it's a full page picture, it's not going to fit in my journal. And I forget about that. Ooh. Um, okay, I want that lettuce. Because I was just planting some more lettuce today and yesterday. Um, and then if I take that, I can still use this for like neutral background. So I'm going to put it in the journal page until I get that lettuce off of there. And then I'll transfer it into my glue book page for backgrounds. Haven't we already seen that bowl one time? Because it's pasta and it looks really good. Hmm. Maybe I'm hungry. And then, and then I, I'm glad that there's a smaller image of that because that I probably would use in the journal. Um, I haven't journaled Valentine's Day yet because to be honest with you, I was in bed the whole day. I didn't even know it was Valentine's. So, you know, but I'm still going to decorate it because I have all the stuff and I'm going to use it. So I'm just going to enjoy the decorating part of it. Oh, I love this. See, I would frame that. I am all about the light right now. You know, let your light shine. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, so I think I might leave it in the book for now. I hope I remember it's in there. Okay, so I definitely want some purple background, but, you know, I don't think I have purple washi. Well, that's cute. Aww. A dog or a cat trying to help wash the windows. Oop. I'm not sure which side to tear this from. Okay. So I can get lots of purple out of that. Mm, okay. So I have a pretty good selection of... I like that. Oh, that's cute for a icing piece. And that's cute for the journal. You know what? There's nothing that says I can't do this right here. There. I mean, I can still use this for the blue, blue background. There's not a whole lot of it left, but I can still use it. Because I don't know how much blue I had. Okay. These, um, oh, those are cute. That would be fun. Um, yeah, the feminine care products probably where you're going to get the most purple. I can laugh and be myself again. Now, see, I, I'll come back when I have a purple page, when I finally do have a purple page, because I, like I like that saying, too. So I would come back and cut her out. You'll never know it's not in a... Once you cut her out, you'd never know it's in a feminine care ad. Um, 
Well, you know, I actually could have read these magazines. Perhaps I should have. I usually just cut up the older ones, but see, I like all these words. So when I, again, when I come back and like, I would use that three in the journal and thrive. I love this. I've used this in my journal just yesterday, actually. That I would use, I'm going to save it. I don't need it in my journal right now. So I'm going to save that. And then that's a cute little border right there, but I'm not going to take the covers until I'm ready to come back and do the rest of the magazine. So, okay, I'm going to put that one to the side. Um, let's flip through this. I mean, this one, I literally just got out of the mail yesterday. Let's flip this one and then I'll probably stop and then I'll, um, do my washi on a different video, maybe. So I'm just looking and I'm just taking, I'm going to be very sparing on this flip, what I take. Ooh, look at the watermelon color. Um, anyway, I've thought about how I'm doing mine and I'm letting some of these, um, I may let some of these dictate what color pages I do because I think I'm going to do mine, like I already said, I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to take this one because it's got pink and green. A couple different shades. This one has good orange. I'll take it. And that one's sideways. Petruda. A cute little kitty. That's a good background, but I like that. So I might, no, I don't really. Oh, here's brown. I don't think I have anything like that dark brown yet. And I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use it, but I might pick my colors based on what washi I have. Now, here's a good purp an image for a purple page for the icing. I'm not going to take it yet. But, um... Okay, did I not take this one in that last magazine? Because it has purple background. Ooh, how pretty would that be on a, like a neutral page? Anyway, I'm going to take, um, I, I may end up letting what I have inform what color pages I'm going to do in my blue book. Okay, it's only taken me 30 minutes to say that. I love these and I save them out of every magazine and I never end up using them and that's why I need to do a glue book there because I have these paint I love paint I used to love to paint furniture walls everything and there was nothing better than popping open a brand new color of a brand new thing of paint and yeah anyway and I loved I would shop the oops paint I used to have just shelves and shelves of oops paint because I love color. I love all the colors. Well, almost all the colors. The polished side of pastels. So pretty. Mayonnaise. I actually like that color. When I get a little bit more able, I'm going to probably try to repaint the inside of my house, but I like that color. Hint of mauve. I don't really like mauve, but that's more of a taupey color. Weekend Getaway, that's pretty. And Nantucket Fog, that is gorgeous. I really like that mayonnaise one. It's, oh no, let's see. Uh, I guess I have to put it in the glue book one for now. Oh, here they are again. Let's see. That has too much writing. That would be a pretty color. Wish they wouldn't put writing on their stuff, you know? Don't they know what we use these papers for? Oh, that's gorgeous. Limelight hydrangea. Yep, I want one of those. It's um, it's the one that is kind of technically like a white. Um, it's a really light green hydrangea. And I forgot what's different about them. Um... Pink hues in the fall. 
earlier blooms. Hmm. I can't remember. Um, I did a class on hydrangeas and I remember there being something different about limelight. Um, it's one of the things that grows in our area. I do know that. But I have not had a whole lot of luck with hydrangeas yet. Okay, see, I already used that bag in my journal one time. And so I'll go ahead and take it out. Because I have a feeling my niece is coming back. And we're going to be cleaning out sheds and all sorts of things. So that's going in my journal bin. Um, oh, he's cute. Okay, so this has lots of potential one for the green background i like the writing but um oh he's just precious i say he i don't know if it's a he but it's cute so that's like cake and icing together on one page oh so yeah i'm going to get my pages started in my glue book. Um, I just was trying to make myself wait until I was a little bit where I want it to be in my journal because I was still playing catch up a little bit from that week I was sick. Man, that's got such pretty colors. I don't know how I would use that right now. So I think I'm going to leave that if I don't know how I'm using it and where I'm using it, I'm not pulling it. Other than all this food is making me hungry. Caramelized French toast with vanilla nutmeg syrup. Mm. I'm not a fan of nutmeg, though. I did learn that. Squash and... Okay. Well, had me with the squash. Spiced donut holes. Well, now there's a, what's for breakfast? Okay, this has a lot of potential, but it's so big. I mean, obviously I could cut around that and use the pink for the background, but I'm going to hold off on that for the moment. That could go on. A, I don't have anything aqua background, but that's just such a little, little tidbits. Hmm, the whole thing would probably, I don't know, once you cut it out of that blue background, it might not look like it would fit on a blue page or a teal, because that was one of the things I wanted was teal, and I don't think I have anything in that, but I also need to look and see what, oh, there's a bed. I also wanted to see what, um... what washi I have too. I love that door. I love that room. Um, I'm trying to figure out what, what style that is. But I love that dark wood door. I'm a furniture junkie. And, and uh, at heart, I'm really, um, I'm really still, <laughs> in my mind and in my heart, I'm still refinishing furniture and decorating and things like that. Even though my body can't do that right at the moment, my mind still does. And when I see something like that, I, you know, makes me miss that. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Mm, cardamom carrot bars. Oh, I like raisins. Okay, that's got a little bit of teal, not much. Oh wait, here's what coastal? Oh, South Walton, Florida. Okay, that's not far from me. It's only like an hour, isn't that gorgeous? It's called the Emerald Coast for a reason. Just take that in, how blue and green the water is and the pearly white sand. Anyway, so yeah, that's only about, 
Yep, let's see. Located in Northwest Florida's Gulf Coast, South Walton is continually recognized as a premier beach vacation destination. 26 miles of sugar white sand, turquoise water, and 16 unique beach side, beach side neighborhoods. But yep, beautiful. Um, what other ones? Let's see. Oh, I thought we were going to talk about, it says the top six southern coastal towns. Oh, okay. Maybe in another. Here we go. This is where I live. I don't live right there. Look how clear that is. Can you see that? Now, don't be deceived. It's not always that clear. But isn't that beautiful? And look. Here's our fluffy white sand. And see, when you get to Alabama, just go... That's like 45 minutes west of me. And see how much darker the sand starts to get? But there's this stretch along the Florida Gulf Coast that is just pearly white. I mean, unless we've had a storm and it washes in all the seaweed and stuff, you know. Which, that happens in the summertime. So, oh wait. I got distracted and I'm not taking the... I need these colors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I was doing. I forgot what I was doing. And, um, anyway... So, I promise that if you come and stay at a house on the beach, I will come visit you. I do not live on the beach. I live inland. Alpharetta, Georgia. We actually, that's pretty cool. We made the Better Home and Garden magazine. I, that just occurred to me. I was thinking, I forgot what magazine we were looking for. Maybe I shouldn't have torn the pages out. Um, so if you'd like to read that and look all that up for yourself, I'm sure this one just came out, the March 23 issue of Better Homes and Garden. Hmm. I don't see anything else. And then this one jumps up to Maryland. Ooh, sweet pea soup. No, it's okay. I don't like ginger that much either. I am trying to broaden my palette, but you know, I can't make it go where it doesn't want to go either. Our brain needs sugar. I agree wholeheartedly. I'm sure it means something totally different, but I'm thinking chocolate, ice cream, I don't know. West Virginia, spoil the kids in unspoiled places. Isn't that the truth? That's got some really good, kind of, you know, darker green, but I'm sure I could use that for background. Okay. And then I'll use the, well, I already pulled that one out of that magazine. Was that Cosmopolitan that advertised macaroni and cheese? I find that funny. Don't you find that a little funny? Okay, that's cute. I love that. Okay, I live in Florida. We just talked about the beach, but this is also me. This is the other me <laughs> who thinks that she wants to live in the snow, which I have. I have, so don't think I don't know what it is like to live all four seasons in a very cold place because I lived in Maine. And yes, it was a massive culture shock. And my first time when it came out of school in the snow, I fell and broke my arm. So that was my first experience with, I mean, other than the little snow that we get, but it was ice, it was real icy. I also learned to drive on icy snowy roads for the first time with a standard, with a broken arm, trying to drive myself to the emergency room. Okay. So, now that you know all of that, that you didn't necessarily care to know. But I told you anyway. So, there. I need one of those. I need a mortar and pestle. And I've had them before. 
and I need one to grind up my spices. Anyway, okay, I think I'm actually going to 40 minutes. Yes, I'm going to stop there, and um, I'm just, oh, wait. Mm, look at that burger, because these are older. Oh, no, it's not. This is March. Okay, well, anyway, I might actually read this one before I tear it up. So, look at all that purple. Anyway, I'm going to, um, this just helps me get my brain in a direction. It, this is almost like warm-up for me, for journaling. I don't know if anybody else does that, but it gets me looking at all these pretty colors and pretty pictures, and I, I get so, my mind gets in a creative zone when I do these flip-throughs like this. I mean, I don't always bring you along with me, but um, I decided to this time. And it helps me really gear myself up. So if you're in a slump, like in your journal, and you're like, this page just needs something, I don't know what it needs, it's boring, blah, 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 go flip through a magazine. Um, it can be one you've already flipped through. Um, just go flip through a magazine, and all the colors, and all the vibrant ads, and all the everything. I mean... I got Goo Goo over a mac macaroni and cheese ad. So, anyway, that this helps me kind of warm up for my journaling. So, I'm going to try to do a couple after I get off here. I'm going to try to do a couple of, um, oh, and here's a bed for the wafer ad. I'm going to try to do a couple pages in my journal, and then I'm going to get started making my glue book. Then I'll bring you back, and we will get down some, um, get down some, background, some foundation paint. We'll, we're going to bake a cake. So, all right. Well, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.